speak in favor of this request. space there, some um, community garden spaces. Um, I saw a uh, similar uh, garden space down in Appalachia, Florida, where the residents in the neighborhood could uh, put in little garden plots that were four foot by six foot and grow <coughs> tomatoes or whatever. And it seemed to be a great idea. And so we picked up on that. And we've got two different areas for that planned. Um, Uh, over here, I wanted to point out now. This is uh, this is on Eagle Road, which is right here. This is Quail Rise, or Quail Run. I think it is. That correct? Quail Rise. Quail Rise is here. Langdale Place is here. There's some other similar type developments as this one already in this general vicinity of the city. Out by the country club is Wildwood. Over by the doctor's <coughs> building that faces uh, North House Road, there's Thornbrook, which is a um, similar type situation to this, where it's single family, um, a little denser than, than the R15. You've got Huntington Ridge, which is off the country club drive, and it's similar with uh, single family in a condensed neighborhood. And then you have Fox Hollow, who is um, their location is over here by the mill pond. So there's four of the types that we're similar to, and ours would be located here. So we think it's appropriate for the neighborhood. Um, we have some uh, other people that are here to support it. I'm going to give them a chance to speak. If there's any questions, I can answer at this time. 
How large should be some of them? Um, they're going to be, um, right now we're planning three bedrooms. Uh, we have some requests for two bedrooms. So we may offer a two bedroom with a den or whatever. Uh, they're going to be in the neighborhood of, uh, we've got them, as he spoke, uh, it's in your packet, 1,400 square feet. So it's a by that size. And uh, we're planning on being single story. But, however, there may be a request for two stories, so we may have the option to put two stories in there. Um, will there be restrictive covenants in the development? Yes, we're going to form a homeowner's association, which we think is um, a good idea from the standpoint of, since it is, uh, trying to keep as much green space and all consistent. We'll have a one contracted landscaping so that everybody's lawn is mowed at the same time. So that homeowners association will have restrictive covenants also that would restrict um, architectural control. And also, um, like I, we're gonna restrict um, any kind of a public office or anything like that where you have public coming and going office type environment in a home.
and to give you a, um, an idea of a uh, certain amount of trees every 20 feet, a certain amount of canopy type trees every um, 50 feet. Right? 150 feet? That, that's right. Okay. So it would be lined with trees and the 10 foot solid things. Right. On the front, I see uh, you've got the possible location for retention pond. That would be somewhat of a, a buffer there. I know if this landscape's around it or, or whatever. But then you got a berm. What are you going to do with that berm? When I think of a berm, I'm probably thinking of a hill. Uh, you right. Landscape a hill. Absolutely. A that, that berm would be a, not just a grass berm, but it would be a landscape berm. Right. Um, and we hate to think that'll help buffer the sound and, and the cars going at a higher rate of speed up and down and the lights and so on so forth. But yes, it will be a landscape uh, firm. The reason we say a possible is because you've got to get into engineering and it's lots of calculations as to where the water goes and how do you treat it and all. But that's under a whole different jurisdiction of technicalities. So we just said possible because you've got a couple of areas. All this land flows this way. I probably got to get in myself, Mr. Chairman. So we should, we should be on the next one. Well, that's why I'm saying, I, I guess in the interest of time, um, I don't know technically how. Yeah. It's just the recommendation. They need to vote on them separately. Um, I think we can discuss aspects simultaneously, right. but I wouldn't want to interject too many plan development issues and questions during a rezoning. Okay, so yeah. um, I have some other folks here that uh, might be uh, like to speak. In. So do you suggest they speak at the uh, rezoning period or for both times? Um, they can speak at both if they would like to. Need to up two separate hearings. Okay, so even though they're repetitive, that you suggest that. Okay, lunch in, and that's what we'll do. Right. Is there any other questions? I just wanted to, I guess that's the question, if I may, about the, the pictures of these homes uh, that are shown here. Um, they look like they have architectural symbols, and I guess the construction materials are not going to be low grade, vital. Like a lot of constructions are, you know, people come and they build homes and they just put vinyl siding. But this looks like uh, very good materials. I was just wondering if you could comment on what type of yes. construction you're playing. Um, well, for example, instead of the vinyl, we would use hardy board, which is a concrete siding to be painted. And, um, and you can actually buy these in hardy board right now, the shingles. Um, you can get architectural type shingles. They just, there's just a lot more products available. You can, we can uh, interchange rock or brick. And um, so we think we can change up the look all the way through the subdivision. And the product will be a, a, a step up above just what you used to see in maybe a fine village or some people call it before. All right. Are there any other questions for the speaker from the commissioner? Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor 